I'm Anil Kumar and now let us do the third example to find derivative of the given function using first principle. So this time we are working on a rational function f of x equals to x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. We need to find its derivative using first principle. That means the basic definition which is f dash x is equals to limit h approaches 0 or for the function it will be f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So that is the basic definition and this method we call first principle, right? So let's replace uh, f of x plus h with the function itself which is x minus 1 over x plus 1. So x will be replaced by x plus h. So what we get here is x plus h minus 1 divided by x plus h plus 1 minus the function which is x minus 1 over x plus 1 divided by h. Now to solve rational functions we should take common denominator and then simplify. So if I take this common denominator these two terms they get multiplied right. So what we get here is first term will be x plus h minus 1 times x plus 1, right, x plus 1, minus, this term will be x minus 1 times x plus h plus 1, right, and the common denominator here will be this times this, so let me write h first, and then we have x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1, I hope this step is clear, right, so we have all this divided by h, so this h comes in the denominator. So let me now expand the numerator. So we have, let's multiply 1 by 1. So we have x square plus x plus x times h plus h minus x minus 1. So that is this part. Now we'll do all this minus of, let's put a bracket, x square plus xh plus x then with minus 1, so we have minus x minus h minus 1, right? So that is the numerator. Denominator for us is h times x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. So let's see what is left in the numerator now. Let's cancel out the terms which are, which sum up to 0. x square minus x square is 0, right? and then we have x and minus of x becomes 0 minus x and minus x is 0 so I'm, I know I could have done like this also but I prefer to do like this right so what you'll find here is only the terms with have at least one h in it remains so that is the beauty so we have x h plus h and here we have uh, h plus xh they cancel out right so this cancels out but plus h minus of minus h will give us plus 2h so we have plus 2h in the numerator divided by h times x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1 now h and h you can cancel and so we are left with limit h approaches 0, 2 over x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1, right? That is what. Now we can substitute h equals to 0. So we get x plus 1 whole square in the denominator, right? So what we get here is 2 over x plus 1 whole square. So that is the derivative of the given function. So we can now write that the derivative of the function is 2 over x plus 1 whole square, right? So what we get here is that the derivative f dash x is equals to 2 over x plus 1 whole square. Now from this general derivative of the equation given to us, we can conclude many things, right? So 
let's see what all we can conclude from here so first thing which we can conclude is that f dash x does not exist does not exist at at x equals to minus 1 do you see that if I put x as minus 1 we get 0 in the denominator right the function is defined at the function is also not defined at minus 1 you can see that right so and it is not differentiable at minus 1 so you could see from here if I substitute minus 1 I get 0 right so both function and their derivative do not have x equals to minus 1 in their domain that is first thing which you observe second thing which you observe is that the derivative f dash x is non-negative do you see that since the denominator is square do you see so it is always always greater than 0 right so so the derivative is always greater than 0 right so these are the two things which we observe that it is not differentiable at x equals to minus 1 and the derivative is always positive that means if you draw a tangent to this curve it will always be positive correct and of course when x is very very high approaching so when when x is approaching infinity very high in that case f dash x will approach 0 do you see that so we have a horizontal asymptote for the function do you see so we have a horizontal asymptote for the function when x is approaching very very high well the value of that horizontal asymptote is a different issue will be 1 so a function will approach a very high value when x is very large function approaches 0 that means there is a horizontal asymptote so that means there is a horizontal asymptote now we'll soon learn how to find horizontal asymptote also the value of horizontal asymptote in this case will be y equals to 1 right the function so if x is very large we can find x is very large the function will approach 1 correct so that's a different story but from here we can make out that when x is very large then the derivative or the slope of the tangent approaches 0 so those are few very important things which you learn from the derivative of the given function I hope that helps thank you